I had trouble just getting around uh, short of breath and and just wasn't doing what I thought I should do. And I now yeah, I feel a lot better. I feel proud to, to know that somebody could do something for me. Uh, we basically had, um, when I say we, the uh, family had received a phone call that my dad wasn't feeling um, real good. He'd gone to another doctor and he, he was given out when he walk, was walking. Um, so when we found this out, um, I had talked to my wife who basically said it sounds like he needs to go to see a doctor. So we took him to Patients First in Bel Air. Um, where they did an exam and found out that um, basically he had fluid on the lungs and um, a lot of other things. So they took him to um, Upper Chesapeake Medical Center where they admitted him. Did some testing, found out that um, his um, aorta um, was not working properly. He still was retaining fluid. Um, he stayed in there for several days and then we did a follow-up with his cardiologist, Dr. Lang. Um, who at that time had said, you know, there was some test, more testing needed to be done to see what procedures, if anything, could be done. He's already had a prosthetic aorta, he's already had a one-way bypass, and he's had several stents replaced. Um, at that time, Dr. Langen mentioned that there was this new procedure um, performed by Dr. Gammy, um, and that he wasn't sure if he'd be a candidate, but after the testing, we might want to consult with Dr. Gammy and do a follow-up to see in fact he would be. So we went to, um, from Dr. Lang's office to St. Joe's where we had catheterization done, check his heart, and there we learned that basically something had to be done because his aorta just wasn't working. He wasn't feeling good. He was not able to do anything. He was sitting around all day long, um, short of breath whenever he went out. So basically he just couldn't do anything. So um, at that point, started researching on the web um, looked up Dr. Gammy, um, did some research on his surgery, um, went ahead and made a phone call to Dr. Gammy's office and got the ball rolling, went back to Dr. Lang's office, um, spoke with him about it, informed him that we had already had an appointment with Dr. Gammy, um, and he basically released my dad at that point to say, go see Dr. Gammy, um, talked with Dr. Gammy, and of course he had to go through some more testing here at the hospital at up at University of Maryland Hospital um, and we were we found out several weeks ago now that he was a candidate got had it set up for surgery um, a week ago last Monday at the, October the 4th is when he actually had his surgery and the procedure was the aortic bypass surgery um, since that day he has performed very well um, we can't say enough about University of Maryland Hospital uh, Dr. Gammy and his staff and everyone has just been so wonderful here um, during our week and two-day visit here. It was um, amazing, actually. I've never heard of a robot actually working on anybody and to see how well he came out. It was a long procedure, but um, we were actually excited that he would be the first and was so glad for the medical field that someone was able to um, have this operation and come through the way that he did knowing his condition, that it was, you know, kind of grave. And, you know, we knew that Dr. Gammy's, most of his operations were successful and that the age of the patient that he operates on was also a plus for us. It was just worrisome making sure that he was going to be a candidate for this surgery. But when we heard it was a robotic, it was just like, wow, it's, it's awesome. You know, words can't really describe how we felt, you know, when he would come out of the surgery. And also to look at him today and see, I, don't, I mean, you don't see any stitches or anything, and very little cutting done on him at all. Um, I would highly recommend it to anyone. The hospital and the staff is just outstanding. And Dr. Gammy, I just love him. You, you couldn't find a better doctor than Dr. Gammy, and he's been so good, and I don't know where we'd be if it wasn't for Dr. Gammy and Dr. J. Lang, because he, Dr. Lang was the one who put us on to this. And the staff here in ICU and over here in Step Down have been phenomenal. You couldn't ask for anything any better. The treatment he got, the care he got, and everything. It's just, it's just wonderful. Before he came in, 
He couldn't do anything. He sat in the chair all day long. If he'd get up to walk to the bathroom or to the kitchen, he couldn't breathe. He was so short of breath. And now, he's an entirely different person. He's going to run rings around me. I guarantee you. <laughs> and Dr. Gammy told him he would be 101% better after this surgery than before. He said, you'll be a different person. And I can see he's an entirely different person right now. I think that this gentleman that we, uh, that we did our, our first uh, robotic-assisted aortic valve bypass on, he's a classic type patient who was sent uh, to us specifically with, uh, from his cardiologist, uh, his heart specialist, asking us to do this operation because the cardiologist astutely recognized that he was at higher risk of complications with a more conventional operation. This gentleman uh, had had a, a small stroke in the past. Uh, he was in his early 80s. Um, he uh, had a, a, a blood problem where the clotting elements, the platelets in, in his uh, blood were about uh, a quarter of normal. So he was at risk of bleeding. And so for all those reasons, we felt that, um, and, and in addition, uh, and importantly, he had had previous heart surgery. So he had a lot of scar tissue. So a conventional operation would have been a long, uh, difficult, uh, drawn out affair with a real high risk of, of bleeding. And uh, this was a nice approach because we just made the small incision on the side of the chest. We were able to avoid all the scar tissue issue and in a matter of minutes we were able to relieve the obstruction to blood leaving his heart.